Drone releases like the Mini 2 and the more recently the fantastic DJI Mini 3 Pro have brought more people to drone flying than ever. We are a safe hobby despite what some people might want to tell you and the vast majority of drone flyers want to do so safely and legally wherever possible. This is a quick UK drone rules video but it will also serve as an important heads up to anyone flying a DJI drone anywhere in the world where there are restrictions on which airspace you can use. With all of the new users on forums and social media talking about their first experiences with their shiny new DJI drones, I've noticed a worrying trend of sorts that I thought would be worth raising in a short video. Time and time again I'm reading the words, if your DJI drone lets you take off then you're okay to fly. Stop, this simply is not the case. The no-fly map and data held on your DJI drone is not verified or approved by the CAA and is not a true picture of whether or not you can fly your drone in the airspace. It does not include some of the most important flight restrictions which are temporary and could impact the airspace you flew in a day before or a few days before but now has restrictions. In fact DJI's FlySafe Geo Zone website, the home of their Geo system, has the following disclaimer. The Geo system is advisory only. Each user is responsible for checking official sources and determining what laws or regulations might apply to his or her flight. In some circumstances, DJI has selected widely recommended general parameters without making any determination of whether this guidance matches regulations that may apply specifically to you. So you need to make your own checks in terms of airspace to ensure you are flying legally and away from restricted airspace. You'll often find that major updates such as the colossal drone restriction around Birmingham for the Commonwealth Games at the time of recording this video in 2022 are listed but you will also find some restrictions that are not actually official appear on the DJI Geo system but more importantly some that do not appear on DJI maps are very much in force. Keep in mind that often the temporary zones that are in place for a specific reason will be policed and reacted to heavily so it's important to heed this message. So how do you find out where you can fly reliably without becoming a code breaker at MI5? Is there a way to check the airspace without needing to know how to read a NOTAM or decipher charts? Well yes, there are three easy steps you can take to ensure your drone flight will be legal and away from restricted airspace. Firstly, you can register for airspace updates directly from the CAA. Register with their Skywise service via the website or app and you will get updates on temporary restrictions sent directly to your email. The updates are sent out in categories so you can select to receive those impacting your drone flight only. The most simple and least effort way is to simply register for drone updates and check out the restrictions as they come in to see if they impact on any of your flights. Secondly, you can view all active and pending flight restrictions on dronesafetymap.com. This is a mapping service run by Altitude Angel and it powers all of their free and paid for services available to commercial drone operators even so it's highly accurate completely free to use and gives you a simple map based view of what restrictions are in your proposed flight area. It also shows things like other drone operators who have logged their flights that are making in the area and a host of other information including ground restrictions. This leads me nicely onto my third step to check your airspace and the good thing here is this can actually be your only step if you want it to be. Download the Drone Assist app which is provided free of charge by Altitude Angel and uses all of the information described before in the second step but puts it into an easy to use app. I check this app prior to my flight and often in the hours running up to the flight itself. If it isn't an impromptu last minute flight that is, even then you can check the airspace and get flying confidently and quickly. You obviously need to ensure you are following the rest of the drone rules and for flyers in the UK there are links to uh, my videos explaining the UK drone rules in under eight minutes and my video explaining the rules specifically for sub 250 gram drones like the Mini 3 Pro linked in the description below you lucky people. If you're new here hit the subscribe button for more updates like this and here is a video that YouTube thinks you will like next. Were they right? Sean out.